Yeah, I just wanted to show you what I created, a low-income savings book for the girlies who have either regular 95s that don't make a lot of money <clears throat> or the ones that's just starting out with entrepreneurship and money is tight either way. Or if you just want to do a little savings at a time to get your foot wet into this savings culture like me. <clears throat> so... I created this low income savings book and it has everything you need. Click the link in the bio. Me time because um, he 
had stuff to do today. So we may link up today or tonight or tomorrow for sure. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> but yeah, my baby daddy ain't doing right, girl. I, don't, I mean, I don't have time for I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you feel like you don't want me around, let me go. It's like I feel like he he don't want me, but you don't want nobody else to have me. That's what it gives. You know what I'm saying? And I understand because I used to be like that. That's what it gives. Leave me the fuck alone. Like, take your ass on to where you'd rather be. And you keep getting mad because I keep calling you out on your bullshit. And finally, like, at the last night, I ain't call you out. So now you texting me to do. Hey, baby. Go do what you... I'm letting you go do what you'd rather do in peace. I ain't never been hard up for no man. Never. I've never in my 40 years, for to be 41 in 14 more days, have I been hard up for a man. Not in this lifetime, sweetheart. Baby, no baby, I don't care. Never. So, child, I'm letting y'all do him. Bye-bye. Just go on, please. And, you know, get back to, get back to me, getting back out you know what I'm saying? Enjoying life. Like, if you taking this time out to get yourself together, get yourself together and leave me alone while you're getting yourself together. Because I can, I can't keep showing you. It's a bug on me. I can't keep showing you that I'm in your corner while you're trying to get yourself together or be a new man or whatever. Fuck out it. I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'm not gonna keep doing it, and I ain't getting nothing out of it. Y'all ain't seen my baby daddy since we went. Out of town. So what I tell y'all? Hmm. He FaceTimed the baby, but I ain't seen him in person, face to face. And we live in the same city. That was a month ago. It's about to be Father's Day. You heard me? So, what I look like? You don't think I think you got somebody? So either it's it's out of the two things. Either you got you somebody. You don't like me like that. And if if it's either or, I'll take your ass on. It's simple. Simple, 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 simple. Like Draper, I say simple, simple, simple. It's simple, baby. I'm going to be around here. Boy. But uh, I'm going to pick y'all back up. I think I'm going to drop her off. And she's sweet anyway. got they um they the um they spot us out and everything it's a beautiful day today but um i'll pick you back up in a few
Do y'all see motherfucking full set? So after he done my pedicure, I'm getting up like, okay, well, you want me to sit so you could do my nails? He walked to the register. So I said, well, I said I wanted a full set and a pedicure. He was like, he said something I ain't really understand, but it was for the most part that he didn't. I guess he didn't hear me say I wanted a full set and I, I pointed to where I was sitting and I said, before you ask this lady right here, I said, I mean, after you asked this lady right here, I said, when I was sitting over here, I wanted a full set and a pedicure. I was like, you know what, just so and so then he said, another lady had done walked in by then, so he was just like, well, basically, they had a, had too many people to where uh, I can't get my full set done. Girl, I ain't even tip his ass. I was so motherfucking mad. I paid for my pedicure and went the fuck on about my business because bitch, you got me fucked up. So now y'all can't get no more of my money. No more of it. When I say no more of it, no more of it. So I had went to a nail place that was down the street from where I was at. And they was, they had a dough lock. So I went even further down down the street in like the like this Target Plaza and they was kind of packed and now she told me they had an open appointment at 6 o'clock come back at 6 so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to um I'm gonna try to do that I just don't want the boy to think you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna do what I was supposed to do with the money he gave because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see him probably tomorrow so Push come to show, I just have to get up in the morning and um go get him dead. Because at this point, I'm motherfucking aggravated. Like, that man wasted so much of my time. I could have just went somewhere where I could have got it done all at once. Like, I don't have time to be waiting around doing no motherfucking, getting no nails in and shit. Anyway, I'll pick y'all back up. I just had to tell y'all that. Child, I just had to stop and give me something to eat. I stopped at this burger place I've never tried before it's called burger barn um i didn't get no inside because but i'm discombobulated if you see the hair you see the hair i'm discombobulated child that man child that man took me up and through there took me up and through there girl i gotta get myself together I gotta get myself together y'all But anyway, they had a lot of, um, I need to clean my car. They had a lot of um, different types of burgers. I don't know, I guess, I don't know if it's because of the way I'm feeling, but um, I just got a regular hamburger with some stuff on it. But um, child, look at my hair. Sweat it out, honey. Sweat it out. But, um, I got that it's pretty much a la carte so you know you gotta it's not like meals or anything so i got a burger fried in a drink and it was like 13 something so it's hot i think these are the fries they smell very seasoned they hot too these are the fries and Try this burger out of here, y'all. I'm still shaking. I gotta get it together. And this is the burger. So it just looked like a regular, regular Dagla burger. I got um, ketchup, mayo, lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles. So. And I gotta go try to find my baby a pool. She want me to get her a pool. And, um, it's a little hot. It's hot. Mm. I'm hurting for mm hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just sitting here. I don't get myself to go go this side of town. I have so much traffic. Cause like the mall and stuff. And the town center is, is all over here. So I gotta get myself together, y'all. 
I gotta get myself a pen. Um, I'm gonna put God back up when I get home. I wanna take a nap. I had called my sister, or text my sister to tell her, to tell me when they was gonna be finished, because I was out. She told me to leave her alone. Yes, ma'am. So, and my baby is with my oldest daughter. That's why I'm gonna take the pool at over there. What is that? They waiting on me. So, I'll be y'all back up and I'll probably have on a bonnet because this hair is through for today and I'm not fed ironing it, straightening it again today. This hair is done for today and I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm on. I put on my hand down the hat, baby. But um, this hot as fuck outside. Mm. Mm. The car now says 97, but it feel like 100 out there. No lie. So, I'm gonna go home and get my hair done. Rambling, but I'll see y'all. What's up, y'all? Happy Sunday. I am just getting off of work and I'm tired. I am tired. Um, I'm here to go clean out my car. My car is so filthy and nasty, like, I can't take it another day. Um, attempt to go to the nail salon again right now i just got on some press loans and at work when it popped off so yeah i'm gonna try that again and what am i um hold on y'all i'm trying to drive and grab my purse at the same time um clean up my car wash it it's so fucking hot y'all it is my car said 109 degrees. Granted, it's been sitting in the sun, but my car says 109 degrees. So give or take, it's about 100 degrees. I hope my iPad okay, because it's been in the hot as well. But, yeah.
Like it got hot just that fast. So I um I'll pick y'all back up. I'm pulling into the car wash now. Summer camp and of course y'all know my daughter goes 
to daycare. So I am on my way back to work. And then I have to work at Amazon today too. So <sighs> yes, another day of 12 hour shoes in total. But um, I don't really got nothing going on. You know, I ain't doing nothing to my head. Just got out the bed. Y'all see my hair growing back. Your girl hell growing back. Yeah. My arm's so big, y'all. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. It's gonna get cut off. But even when I lose weight and stuff, like my arms, they they always be like the last to go. Like, I think, um, because my mama arms kinda big too. They be arms running our family. But um over the place like I just don't I don't understand why I'm allowing my baby daddy to have so much control over my emotions when I already know how this goes like I just don't understand like it's like you know how you want something to work out so bad to the point where it's just it's not working and, and that's where I'm at that's where we are like I don't know. I don't know if he's not understanding or he just don't want to. And at this point, I'm feeling like you just don't want to. Because how can you say you changed all of these aspects of your life and you haven't changed the most important? I, I, don't, I don't get it. You feel like because you don't sleep around no more. Okay, and wait. Then what? Like what? I ain't gonna 
up y'all all right it's another day um i was just at work excuse my health well, i just got my second job it's like 10 something now but i want to travel do my thing my low challenge low challenge low income savings book that i did that is on amazon and this is how it looks. Sorry, I don't know. Um, I think my um stand in the in my trunk. This is how it looks. And it's just different challenges for you to use to try to save some money. So this is uh, I mean anybody can use it, but this is mainly targeted to people that don't make a lot of money but still want to save. Um so you don't have all of those outrageous um, savings commitments that we don't follow because if if I don't make enough to save a five hundred to a thousand dollars a month, then how am I gonna do that? So this is a little guy to kind of you know look fun things. So this one is just sweet savings. This is like for if you want to save for gas money, like eighty five dollars. And emergency funds, 500 stuff you um call like the piggy bank challenge, stuff that you could just manage to throw in the piggy bank that equals up to 160. So it came out so early, I love it. You can um got yearly goals on here, and it's repetitive different ones. So when you complete, you can still keep going. Save $90 in 30 days. Use it all $10 bills. You know, stuff like that. So, I'm happy for it. Um, you know, if you want to go buy that bag, save up for your bag. This is like $775. And then if you want to do like a spa day, $200. If you want to get your nails or your lashes or whatever thing you have. Whatever but different things. So yeah, even got a travel fund in there too. So if you want to pop this, I'll put the link below to my Amazon. But yeah, I also have a, um, I have a um, ebook. Um, for more like a luxurious lifestyle type um, budgeting book and that one is like 400 and something pages and that one has like a planner it has the breakdown expenses um, it has motivational quotes in there for every month um, it has daily notes for every week of the month um, so yeah I'll put the link to my website for you to cop that as well um, and that's a digital ebook, so that comes directly to you automatically. I am in the process of getting those printed. Um, I just been trying to figure out how to do that for it to be cost efficient for me and for you guys. So yeah, happy savings. It's all about having that moolah. So yeah, if you even if you're not a low income. You can still get this if you want to do small saving challenges or if you want to give this to a friend, family, you could do so. Catch me on Amazon, y'all. But anyway, I'm tired. The last three days, I have worked both my jobs. I'm tired. So, I'll pick y'all back up.
ahead and close out the vlog after the tournament um because this vlog is real choppy and it's been a span of like two weeks so next week though it's my birthday week baby last day of gemini game so i'm gonna take y'all with me um i'm off i'm gonna take y'all to get my hair done Okay, so what's crazy is my birthday is next week and two of my men birthday. One birthday on Sunday on Father's Day and the other one is on Wednesday. Now, what is he Gemini doing in my life? So, I mean, I'm going to do something for both of them, you know. <laughs> I'm going to do something for both of them. I just don't know what. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me with that child. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog after the tournament, and I'll probably start on Father's Day. Now, I'll probably take my my baby daddy out to eat, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna got into it by then. So I will see. But um, let me get my music back on. Me and my favorite girl back there, and I'll pick y'all back up once we get out. All right, y'all, we made it. We are at the hotel. We are about to go because the game is about to start in five minutes, and we late. And I gotta get some gas. But just to show you around, that's the TV. That's the kitchenette area. We're staying at the Wood Wood Spring Suites in Port Orange, Florida. That's the bed. It's very, this must be new because it smell new in here. It's, it's giving new, new everything. It's new, it smell new. I love new, like the wood on this. You can smell like they just put this together. But um, TV, microwave, little stove top, sink. I think they got stuff down here. Or I think you have to get the cook one well, now. I don't think they just give it to you no more, yeah, see. Don't get seen them on. But um, we ain't cooking that anyway. The most we'll probably use is the microwave and the refrigerator. Clean, clean. That's the bathroom. Standard bathroom. Yeah, y'all know. Tub. All that good stuff. So we're about to go and head on to the field. And uh, I'll pick y'all back up when we get there. Where we are for the baseball tournament. How you feeling after the first day? Y'all one and one. Y'all gotta bounce back tomorrow. I know. We gotta get a blowout. We gotta get a 12 blowout. Yeah. So. Looks like Chandler and them. All right. So the game is over, <laughs> and now me and my mini me say hey. Hi. We are headed to grab us a bite to eat. We're going to Applebee's. I haven't eaten at Applebee's in a long time. But you're gonna see, I need me a drink. Sis need her a drink. You see my hair? Sis need a drink. And sis is me. So we're about to go in here and eat. And I'll pick y'all back up when I get my drink and my food. What's up, y'all? Sorry I didn't get the food or the drink. Well, I could put a clip from my Instagram story of my drinks, but I just had the two for one Bahama Mamas, and I just got a burger and fries, and my daughter had got a burger, a burger and fries, so it wasn't that fancy to even really show y'all, but we done took our baths, she in the bed, I'm in the bed, we watching Loud House till we fall asleep and get up. My son got a game at 11.20, so I'm gonna try to get up and try to go over to the Airbnb where they at, just to make sure he got his stuff in order. Because you know, when kids be around other kids, they kind of forget their own system, and I don't play that. Like, he know, put your rag back in your bag. The bag for the rag is different from where your clothes and your toothpaste and your deodorant, 
all that kind of stuff. So he already know like how I am. Like I be having compartment bags on bags in his main bag. So he'll already know what is what. But he should be used to it. But then he's only eight, so you know how they go when they get around other kids that probably don't have a system like that. So I'm gonna try to get over there early in the morning before they leave. I know they coach said they probably gonna get to the field like nine, nine thirty. I can't really promise that, but I'm probably gonna get up and call one of the other coaches because my son left his phone home. So just to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, he on track and he did what he was supposed to do. So um, I'm gonna try to lay it down. I think it's, I think it's like 11.45. So I'm gonna lay it down, try to do some work, you know, till we fall asleep. Say good night to the vlog. And we'll see y'all in the morning. We were trying to figure out what we was going to eat for breakfast. But I think we... Did we say Chick-fil-A we was going to eat breakfast at Chick-fil-A? No. What was that? We said... Chick-fil-A, Burger King. I don't know. We're going to pick up something quick. McDonald's. McDonald's. Eat McDonald's bur uh, breakfast. What you gonna get from McDonald's for breakfast? Oh, but you got your yogurts in there. I'm definitely going to Dunkin' Donuts to get me an iced coffee, period. So she may have a yogurt for breakfast and I'll get her something else. But you want a croissant sandwich? Okay, we probably go find try to find a burger. Um, we, we, we have a chairs? chairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a chair over there and it's a chair right here. So, mm. yeah, it's eleven forty nine. It's eleven forty nine. So, well, I'm kind of exhausted, so I'll pick y'all back up tomorrow for sure. Good night. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? We are back day two for the um, baseball tournament. We just left public to get some water, to get some water and get like some um, power aid and stuff for my son. And now we are headed to the field. It's been raining off and on, so I'm hoping it don't rain while I'm out there.
right y'all they ended up losing both games today so now they will be going to basically like a a consolation bracket at this point um so they have two games tomorrow well one game tomorrow and if they win that game they'll have a second game i think They were guaranteed six games, so they played two Friday, two today. Okay, so they do they play two games tomorrow, either way. Um, but if they win both games, they have a chance of going into like the silver bracket championship game on Sunday. But um, I am headed home. I'm headed back to Jacksonville. Uh, I won't be at the game in the morning. Like I'm just.